the second national Sprint Bandit Showdown. Hi, everybody. I'm Don Randall. Welcome aboard. Welcome back. Great to have you along for the ride. This is the second leg of the second national Sprint Bandit Showdown coming to you from Mill Street Motor Speedway in Finley, Ohio. What a show. Looking forward to it with over $35,000 on the line. This three-part series here will culminate next week at Limerland Motor Speedway. It was Bobby Clark who took round one, if you'll recall, back at Limerland Motor Speedway. We'll find out tonight who owns Mill Street Motor Speedway. Four wide pace lap. This, the Outlaw Sprint Bandit main event coming at you loud and clear. This one's for you, the fans. So if we can get the fans on their heels and send them off in a proper fashion, Finley, Ohio style. This, the second leg of the second national Sprint Bandit Showdown, $2,000 to win. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Outlaw Sprint Bandits. Four wide, that's pretty. I love the four wide pace lap. Yeah, good, good stuff. Thanks for your participation. We do appreciate it. As the field begins to take their proper alignment, double wide that is, your lineup again is or will be Mike Albright from the pole setting the pace tonight in the 15 car. Alongside the OJ, the current bandit point leader, Tim Allison. In row two, let's go there on the inside. That will be now. It looks like the 28K. No, make that the Clark Oil Kears gambler, Bobby Clark, alongside the 70 of Daryl Doherty. Row three now will be Tim Kern, alongside the Valvoline colors of Clay Kime. In row four, Steve Sieber, the 36S, alongside the Hawk entry of Chris Nagy of Finley, Ohio. Next row, the 23 car of Ben Rutan, the rookie from Hudson, Michigan, working alongside the 35 of Mark Long. Further back, Shane Helms alongside the kid from Benton Ridge, Greg Wilson in the 2W. That's your top six rows. As the field continues to warm up one more pace lap before we send them on their way. A stellar field of outlaw sprint bandits two grand to win. And I tell you, when you put $2,000 in front of their face and strap them in, a 700 horsepower open wheel sprint car, strange things can happen and they so often do. It's a great recipe for excitement as we watch the field carefully work off turn number four. One lap from the stand. We'll go green next time by. Looking for green flag racing next time around with Albright and Allison tucked up on the front row. Bobby Clark and Doherty from row two. Harrison was supposed to go inside row three, forfeiting the spot. He'll start from the tail end now. Kern and Kime there. A couple of Ks in row three. We'll drop the green flag. Here come the Outlaw Sprint Bandits off turn four. Albright shows the way in one and two with Allison riding the cushion. Working. Great, great shot of our leaders, Albright. Now working the bottom head. And Allison bounces high on the cushion off turn four. Allison. Albright closes the door on Tim Allison. Albright working well on the bottom in the 15 car. Albright, car number 15, won eight features in 94, but he is thus far winless in 95 and got loose off turn number four. That'll bring up the OJ of Tim Allison, your new leader, off turn two. Allison carries Albright by five car lengths back to three and four. Allison on a string of terrible luck has blown two engines recently here at Millstream. Bought this engine from Grayling Call, and I'll tell you what, he's got one that's running tonight. Allison shows the way back to three and four. Off turn four, Tim Allison now beginning to run away from Mike Albright in the OJ car. Allison loves to run the cushion and runs it well. Off turn two, back to three and four. Allison has taken off like a rocket now 
a 10 car advantage. Here's the race for second now. Albright beginning to take the heat from Bobby Clark in the eight car. Good racing here. Albright working the bottom end. But it's Clark on the high end, off turn four, the race for second. Back to one and two, Albright still on the bottom, Clark tucked up against the cushion. Nose to tail, back to three and four. Clark will try it against the cushion, off turn four. Back in one and two, Clark still against the cushion, and now alongside Albright. Clark puts the move on Albright and running second now. Bobby Clark in car number eight, who won round one of this second national showdown last week at Limerland, getting it done here tonight, running second and trying to chase down Allison. But my friends, that will be a tall order because Allison has already gathered almost a full straightaway advantage. Let's pick up Allison off turn two, working his way around the lap car of Rabbit. Travis Miller in 17 goes a lap down. Allison is putting on a ferocious charge here tonight. Back in one and two. Tim Allison still trying to get by Miller. He'll do it off turn two. Allison running a down two max and carry sponsorship from ABC Seamless Siding. Mike Crew at Lima Ford, Dick Jenkins Motor Sale, Ron Brenneman Farms, and of course, Elanat Honda Kawasaki. He's our current point leader and getting it done here tonight. And I'll tell you what, Bobby Clark, believe it or not, is beginning to reel him in. There, yeah, that's the eight car, Bobby Clark, who at one time was a full straightaway behind Tim Allison. Clark is really turning up the burners. The retro rockets are on as Clark rockets off turn four, looking for the OJ car, and he is within five car lengths of Allison now. And isn't this indicative of our whole season? Allison has 10 wins in 95. Bobby Clark has 10 wins. They are within 10 points of one another in the $20,000 Sprint Bandit Point Fund. And I'll tell you what, they're running one, two on the track like they have all season long. With laps winding down, Bobby Clark has caught Tim Allison and is reeling him in off turn four. And they're in lap traffic. Wow, what a race, what a race. Clark still within five car lengths of Tim Allison. But if he's going to get there, he better get there in a hurry. We have been green to green, no caution so far, as Allison works on letting to put him one lap back. Allison with a good run off turn two, still carrying Bobby Clark by five, a five car advantage off turn four. Clark's gonna have to hurry. Laps are winding down. Allison, whoa, there's Bobby Clark who took a peek inside of Tim Allison. Our leaders are nose to tail, back to three and four. It's the Allison and Clark show. Clark looks inside of Allison now. Check it off, turn four, what a race, what a race. Back in one and two, Bobby Clark goes to the low end of Tim Allison. Side to side, off turn two. Wow! What a race, Clark inside of Tim Allison on the bottom end. Off turn four! Woo! No, sir, no, sir. Allison closes the door on Clark. Wow, and now the lap car of Tim Kern may play a role. Laps winding down, Clark's gonna have to hurry. Great, great, Sprint Bandit racing open wheel outlaw style at Mill Street Motor Speedway. Allison and Clark through traffic. 